heard this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where we clearly look at various art books and magazines and this is actually issue number 102 for the month of December 2013 and on the side it says painting skills, colour palettes, traditional art, perspective tips over eight hours of videos. So they've actually changed They've actually changed the way, not only have they stopped doing DVDs for this one, they've changed what they do on the side. I think I prefer it like that actually. I think I prefer it with them saying what's in in the thing. So I think this is actually going to be my favourite cover. I love the fact that you've got little, it's like you've got pencil, traditional, it looks like traditional, it looks like a traditional piece of artwork. It's this beautiful, this one. I love the mix of paint and pencil. I love the character. I love her expression. Yeah, f and I love, I, for me, that's my favourite, which is amazing, because I thought my favourite would be this one, because it's manga, manga -y. But I'm going to say this one. Beautiful it is. We've also got, look, they did that thing, that sexy thing where you get the name hidden on the page, look, I love it. So there's no DVD with this one. All the DVDs have gone now. What they do now is they give you a link and you have to go and download the videos, which I don't like that. I prefer the DVD. Oh, there's something special about having DVD. <laughs> but little Freddy the Fox is with us. There he is, look. He's going to let us in on this one. Boing! We've got little Claire, our little friend, the editor. She's welcoming, welcoming us in on this one. What strikes me as amazing on this, that. I love that one. I like this one as well. wonder who done that, look. So, what well, I had to quickly go in here and delete the... <laughs> I deleted the URL just in case I got told off for uh, sharing it. But you have to go on to this website and download all the files. I haven't done it yet. Hopefully they still exist. Oh, they've put the thing there as well. That's a bit silly. Hopefully all the files still exist though. And if they do, we'll have a look at those in a minute later on. I like the way they've done that page though. It's quite cool. Doing. Let's get into this then, it's the FX Pose A. That's a bit weird that one. You've got a very strange shaped head. <laughs> Quite funny. Look at that look. Like it's something out of Silent Hill. Oh, I love this. Hey, guess what? <laughs> this artist here, look, Geneva Benton, I followed him on Instagram. How cool is that? I follow this artist on Instagram. That's brilliant. So they've obviously made it, I reckon. I reckon they've, they've made it big, big time. Look at this, look. Big monster coming out of the, the water. Cool, dragons. We always like dragons. There's a bloke there, look. This reminds me of um, Boris Vallejo. Yeah, hey, look, it is. Boris Vallejo and Judy Bell contributed to this piece. I like it when they do stuff. An artist's best friend at their sketchbook, I bet. Sketchbook is your best friend. Spirited away. Yay! Art studio of Mark Molner. I like that. Look, oh, he's got his um, two deaths set up. Facial expressions. I don't mind getting that book. Look. Facial expressions. I like the um, way they got that desk set up. Really like that. I wonder what the, um, I wonder what the, what's it called, the stand is that they've got there. I 
adverts, images of the month. Got a little letter. Hey, look. Oh, I like that. They've, they've, yeah, I like that a lot. They've done what there's a one of the Imagine FX magazine covers look like that. Look at that as well. Look. 45% off, look. 25 quid for six issues. That's what I got it for. My mum bought me a subscription for my birthday. And we got it for 26 quid for six months. Which I think is quite, quite good, I do. Here's the artist Q&A, look. We've got a bloke coming out of a, a head. <laughs> quite weird. Oh, I like this one. The Art of Keith Thompson. I like this. Hmm. Vital statistics, look. Bra size. <laughs> Panties. Love that. Little sketch. Oh, cool! Look, little monkeys. Oh, I like that. Huh? Wait, how would you say that? Charles Santoso, Santoso, Charles San. San oh, yeah. That's the. I know who that is. They're off of a video game, Rhythm. Rhythm. What's it called? Rhythm Heaven. On the DS. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Your characters. Oh, this is a brilliant sketch. Hey, I've sketched that before. This is a anim. I I I actually had this issue back in uh, 2013. I, I had this issue. One of these magazines coming up has got um, Sergio Lopez in it, and it's how I actually found the artist Sergio Lopez, Darren Bader. That's like um, retro future again. Retro future. Love this one. Oh, it is traditional. Ah, oh, look, they've mixed the traditional and the digital. I want to see a sketch of that one. Oh, cool. Make the digital look traditional. I love this. Be clever with your colours. These are really, these are really fun articles in this one. Oh, things I'd like to read: creating new documents in Manga Studio Five. Get started in, in Illustrator. Ah, oh, nice. Next week we'll be looking at the final issue of 2013. Which is this one. It's going to be all about game art. That'd be nice. Perspective tips for using painter. Interesting. Create a portrait with a with a neat twist. I like that hat. Love this. Love the colours. It's very sort of um, friendly. Paint a star princess. Going into our reviews now. Manga Studio, look. Manga Studio 5. Poser. I've heard people talk about that. Position stylus. How I paint dinosaurs by a James Gurney. <laughs> a James, a James, a James, a James, a James, a James. Kabam! Kingdom of Heaven. Studio profile of Kabam. Oh, look at this. 
cool we're getting a new little section and oh I love this here we've got glossy paper here we've got like um sketchbook paper it's very sort of rough how cool is that we're getting a new a new section all about fantasy FX pose traditional ah uh, they probably what they've done is oh I love the feeling of this paper Yeah, it feels brilliant. What they've done is they probably... No, they have made it. I thought they were just going to use in old stuff and... Cool. Little fantasy workshops that... Or yours! Painting a fairy cover. Hey, yeah, cool. Get to grips with gesture. I love gesture. First impressions with Michael Whelan. He looks like um he looks like um oh what's he called? The bloke from Virgin. Can't remember his name. He looks just like him though. Doing So there is no DVD, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try and download all of these videos and stuff. And then we'll have a look at the files if we've still got them. So here we go with the well, it's not it's the this is the not DVD for issue 102. So what I did was I actually downloaded all of the files from the website. They still exist, which is quite amazing, really. They've actually kept all of the content on the um, on the cert. I'm very happy about that. But the thing is, is it's going to be very confusing now. You basically. This is the, one of the reasons I don't like it being not on a DVD is you've got to go through each thing individually to look at it and also when you download it, it downloads everything as zips so you have to spend about 10 minutes unzipping everything <laughs> and then you just end up with a load of files, a load of folders so you're constantly going in, in and out of, in and out of um, folders on this so this one's about Speed painting environments. Hello, I'm Eddie with Digital Two. I'm not really into the environment either. <laughs> she's a bit. If she's into environments, she'd probably love that. So I think their naming system is you got. I think this is the Q and A section. So these are the Q and A files. Then you got this is from the traditional section at the back. This is something to do with training. And then these are your these are your tutorials, so they've done away with the FX pose bit, I think, which is quite upsetting because I used to love that. That was one of my favourite bits of the DVD. So we've got something here about architecture, Q and A. I won't go into the Q and A bits. So we've got we've got traditional with Jim Eerie. Well, Jim's doing an Eerie cover, I think. But look, we have we have actually got audio. Boing. Hi, my name is Jim Pavlik. Right. In this video, I'm going to show you how I painted the cover for Dark Horse Comics, Eerie number four. Go on, no, Sam. Hey. Do thumbnails. Him, look. He doesn't sound like, he doesn't look like now, what he sounds like, does he? On the front of the Again, he sounds like sure a big muscle man. Actually, he sounds like a black man. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, I like that. What I'm hoping is, I'm hoping from now on, all the videos, I'm hoping they all have, um, what do you call it? I'm hoping they all have um, audio. We've got our little files here as well. Oh, see, everything starts to get a bit... Yeah, I like those. Look, it starts out like that, ends up like that. <laughs> cool. Life, get to grips with gesture. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. Oh, it's not a video though. See, this is the thing, it's hard to tell what you're... If it, I feel like you got how to paint dinosaurs. Would this be with a James Kearney? It's got to be, in it? Yes. 
<laughs> Hello. Hi, my name is James Gurney. Welcome How are you to doing? my studio. Where's your budgie? Workshop, I'd like to show you exactly how I paint dinosaurs. Using these two oil paintings that I did for Scientific American magazine, <laughs> I'll take you through all the steps, starting with the research, the thumbnail sketches, the three-dimensional maquettes that I use for giving me realistic lighting and perspective. It seems good. Then the charcoal line drawing and the final painting. Budgies. Where's your budgies? There he is. Highly <laughs> ornamented of the most highly Little ornamented. Budgies. Cosmoceratops is one of the most highly ornamented. Superstar budgie, that is. Hey, this is a video from... <laughs> Boing. I begin. Cool. Oh, that's quite cool, that one. What's this? Paint a star princess. Something to do. I do miss these DVDs, you know. I feel like the DVD, having the DVD with the interface, it just sort of, even though it wasn't the best interface in the world, it at least sort of made it easier for you to have a look at all the content, I think. She, look at her, she changes quite a lot there. Again, it's, it's the same but different. That looks nice. Is that a photo or a painting? <laughs> if it's a photo, I think it's got some sort of filter on it or something. What else have we got here? Look. Be clever with your colours. <laughs> Little faces. Silly faces. Oh, I was going to buy a book called Faces. It was on... Um, it might have been from this article here. I saw it in one of these mag magazines. I went to buy it and it was only fiver, And I missed it. You know when you're on eBay and you see something and you think, Oh, I'll get that tomorrow when it ends and you forget and then you when you check it, <laughs> it you missed it by about a minute that's what happened so I might, I still want to get it though but what's this here yeah we're getting lots of audio now on these videos which is cool maybe they were limited maybe they were limited by the DVD so they couldn't actually put more videos on it, like big, bigger file sizes or something. Oh, uh, this is, I'm going to enjoy this. Yep, I need to remember to watch that one. What's this? Mixing traditional and digital media. Oh, this is my favourite. This is my favourite cover from the whole year. How just like sexy does it look seeing traditional stuff? I've got that. I've got that pencil. Very cool it is. Oh, this is. I hope there's a video in this one. Please let there be a video. No, is that no? Something to do with perspective. You can never get enough videos on perspective, I don't think. <laughs> perspective grid in Painter 3. Even, um, in a larger sense, out there, out having the... Doing. What else have we got in here? Perspective tips using Painter. That was the same thing, wasn't it? Horror. Create a portrait with a neat twist. All the squiggles on that. Very sexy, you know. I like that bit there, like the hair shape. You can feel it sort of wrapping around the red. <laughs> Little bats. I like this. Very sexy. What else have we got in here? Yay, we got a video. It's going to have audio as well. That's cool. They need to change their sound effects for these videos. It sounds like someone's blown into a microphone. Listen to it, look. It sounds like someone's blown into a microphone. Oh, 
they're not going to talk. You see, you see the whole... Hey, I've seen that image before. I've seen that image on my travels. <laughs> I think there's one thing left. What's this? Get started in Illustrator. I've actually um, bought Affinity Designer. Which is like... I suppose you could call it a poor man's Illustrator. <laughs> it is the... CG wallpapers. Look, even the wallpapers are now in separate folders. So it's just going to make it a little bit more cumbersome. <laughs> so that was a look at issue number 102 of the Imagine FX magazine. Really hope you enjoyed that. Absolutely beautiful cover. I can't believe how that could well be one of my... What I'm going to do is, at some point in the future, I'm going to put all my favourite covers from each year together and I, I reckon this is going to be right up there I feel like this is going to be right up there but I hope you enjoyed this one we've only got one left now this one here, issue 103 Christmas 2013 we'll look at that next week hope you come back for that and I'll see you later for the one